Hey everybody, it's time for another children's devotion for our Chestnut Grove folks. So I would encourage you to get your family together and invite the kids to come along. We'll have another short devotion. And God's creation is just amazing. And how He brought everything together for His glory and for our good just simply astonishes me. And how He uses uh, just every aspect of His creation to do great and mighty things. And, you know, while we've been stuck at home and doing things at the house, uh, there's a lot of times where I will go out in the yard and do some yard work. Or maybe I'll go into a, a room at the house and do some work. And I always grab a tool because my, my hands can only do so much. Uh, but when I have a tool in my hand, whether it's a, a hammer or a screwdriver or something else to do, to do a, a, a job, that tool helps me do that job. Do you know that animals also use tools? There is the, the veined octopus, and uh, he's been known to grab coconut shells and uh, to use them to even throw at people in the ocean, to stack them on top of one another, and it crawls in between the, the shells and use that as a, a hiding place to hide from predators and use it as a way to get away from all the dangers of the ocean. And that's not it. Uh, dolphins, dolphins will go, go up and grab a, a sea sponge and use that sea sponge to go and circle around. They do this over in Australia and they will take that sponge to stir up the, uh, the ocean floor to uncover their prey. Uh, sea otters use stones as hammers to crack open shells to get the food that's inside. God does all that because they, they're using uh, one another to, to help each other out. God has given us tools as well. God's given us each other. He's given us our family. He's given us our church. He's given us all these other techniques and things that we can be using. And so we need to be using one another, uh, not in a bad way, but in a good way. And that's why in 1 Thessalonians, it tells us to encourage one another and build each other up. We need to rely upon each other. We need to encourage one another, especially right now. Uh, you may be tired. You may be ready to get out of the house. You may be ready to finish this online digital learning. And um, mom and dad are driving you crazy. Your brother or your sister might be driving you up the wall. Well, in times like these, we really need to be encouraging to one another. So before you lose your temper, before you say something you shouldn't say, Think about how you can encourage one another instead of tear one another down. Let's pray about that. Father, thank you for giving us each other. Thank you for giving us the great tools of life. And that includes all the, the people that you've given, put, put in our lives. So I pray, Lord, that we will encourage each other, that we will build one another up and not tear one another down, especially when we're going through such a, a difficult time and we're ready to get back to, to having fun and going back to, to, to doing life like we used to know. So help us to uh, do what is pleasing to you and help us to be loving and kind and encouraging to each other. Amen.